Hong Kong media tycoon Jimmy Lai has been charged under the city's controversial national security law. He is the most high-profile activist to be accused since China imposed the law in June. He could face life in prison. Roland Lim reports. Jimmy Lai is charged with colluding with foreign countries and endangering national security. And this has been reportedly likely to have happened in connection with an interview he gave calling for foreign sanctions to be imposed on Hong Kong. He will appear at the West Kowloon Law Courts Saturday morning. Lai is already remanded in custody, remember, having been denied bail on charges of fraud alongside two other executives at his company, Next Digital. Now, they are accused of uh, using the company's headquarters in Cheong Kwan O for purposes not permitted under the lease. Also, remember back in August, Lai, along with 10 others, were already arrested during a high-profile police raid, which saw more than 200 officers entering the offices of Next Digital on August 10th. Now, in that operation, Lai, his son Ian, as well as his chief operating officer, Royston Chow, were arrested for suspicion of colluding with foreign forces to endanger national security. The police have since investigated the alleged offence, and the Department of Justice now feel that they have enough of a case to charge him under the national security law. Critics, of course, say that the arrest is a latest in a string of prosecutions brought against pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong. Earlier this month, another prominent activist, Joshua Wong, was already jailed for more than a year for his role in organizing a protest outside of police headquarters last year. Two other former party members were also jailed after pleading guilty. So far, at least 31 people have been arrested under the national security law, which bans acts of secession, subversion, terrorism and collusion with foreign forces. Lai is the fourth person and the highest profile so far to be charged under the national security law, which carries a maximum penalty or, of life in prison. The first person was a 23-year-old Tong Ying Kit who drove a motorbike into police while flying a pro-independence flag on July 1st. He's accused of terrorism and secession. The second was a 19-year-old student, Tony Chung, who was charged with secession for comments he made on social media, while the third was a food delivery man uh, who was accused of inciting secession by shouting pro-democracy slogans.